Hi everyone! Today is an awesome day. You know why? Because I received this. I'll tell you more about it later. But first, do you know what Jasmine Night is? It's like a resin cement kind of thingy where... Oh, I'll tell you more later. A lot of stuff I'm telling you later. Hmm. Okay, what I'm telling you now is Rachel and I went for a workshop way back when because she was interested. I was just curious. I love workshops anyway. So we made this. This is made out of jasmineite. The back part is really bad but it's my first attempt. We went for the workshop just to learn how to make the terrazzo. It was a lot of sanding involved. And it turned out really good because I wanted like uh, bright colors with the black background. Grayish. It was kind of hard to get a black background. Anyway, a month or two later, we decided that, hey, let's have like a jasmine night session in my place. And then she came over. Uh, we did some coasters. So my first attempt was this one again. So I just tried to put the chips first and then I poured the jasmine night. It gives kind of a quite of like a rough texture I mean and I really like it I don't know if you can see I added some glitter out of curiosity and it looks really cool I really like the I really like the result next I tried to do like a two-tone kind of thingy and I also want to try like the marbling effect and this is what it turned out to. So this one was quite interesting. There's still a lot of bubbles. But I really like the effect that this one gave. But then I told myself, these guys are just like square and like, you know, boring to me. So then I thought about it. And like, I should ask Rachel to do for me a custom mall. Let's go see. So here we are, here it is, we're gonna open it, ooh, it's double wrapped, so I guess these are my sandpaper, I bought sandpaper from her as well, cause you know, I don't have my own sandpaper, open, open, Yep, so she gave me three different types of sandpaper. One is the super rough one, one is the semi rough one, and one is the smooth one. This one is to like finalize the jasmineite. So my mold is here, my mold is here. So excited. It's huge. Okay. Ta -ta -da. Ta -da. Oh my gosh! Ooh, she gave me this as well. I did not expect this one, but this, guys, look at this. Look at this. This is so cool. I can't wait to try it. I'm so excited. Okay, and I also ordered a custom cutter. I know, my nails are disgusting. This is me trying to scratch out the permanent marker from this packaging. So smart, isn't it? Now it's stuck. I need to keep washing and scrubbing it. But guys, ugh, I can't open it. Can't open it. Come on. Come on, you can do it. There you go. I have a custom cutter. This is for my cookies and um, or maybe my clay cutters. This is so cute. Look at that. Nev, I can make this. Yay. So next step. So I'm going to measure how much I need. So they say that I can pour water inside my mold all the way to the top. I think 
Is that enough? Let me see. No, maybe a little bit more. It doesn't reach all the way to the top. I'm shaking. Ah. Maybe around there. Uh, around 72 grams. So I have this jasmineite calculator over here. So I'm going to put 72 grams. And then it says that I need 90 grams of powder and 36 grams of liquid. So we're going to try it out tomorrow when my mole is dry. So exciting! Usually when I do this kind of new projects, I don't like to plan because I'll overthink and I'll procrastinate. But this time around, you know what? I'm just going to plan a little bit. So I'm going to use my mole over here as my reference. I'm just going to take a picture with my gigantic iPad. There you go. So this aside. Look at how organized my Procreate is. <gasps> Would you like to a tutorial on this? Like how to make it organized? Just put it in the comments then and let me know, okay? I just opened up a normal square default one that is in the Procreate. What? I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna insert my photo the one that I took just now put it here also I bought awesome vinyls over the weekend I'm very excited and I'm gonna use them for this project over here so I'll have yellow with what's the complementary color split complementary just go to under complementary blue you yellow and blue so yellow and blue mix 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 let's go to liquify I have oh there you go what Maybe size. Yeah, there you go. So yellow and blue. There you go. One is yellow and blue. The terrestrial one. This one is tough. I like like dark backgrounds with light stuff over here. Maybe white is also nice though. Let me see what colors I have first. So, I know I'm supposed to use the jasmineite uh, pigments, but I have these, like a lot of them. This is actually those powder that they use for makeup, I think. Uh, okay, I'm horrible at this kind of stuff. I don't know what's the name, but... So, I have a lot of these, and I want to experiment them. This blue? Ooh, might be nice, yeah? And then maybe I can go, since these are bright, maybe I can go dark. How about black? Brown? Let's go with this pink. The rest of one can be this green. Orange? It might work. Actually, these colors... No, I'm gonna go black. There you go. So this is my Terrasso colors. So I'm gonna put this aside. I got my marble. So my terrestrial colors will be black base with orange, purple. Yeah, might look good. Next, half tone. Oh, this is so Halloween. Let's just give it a try and then see what happens. <laughs> Glitter. Okay, I would like my base to be... So I'm just for the base, maybe I'll just go dirty brown. And then Pana with okay, let's see what's the compliment. Sorry, my camera died halfway. I have no idea where it stopped, but this will be like words. Perfect day. And then this one will be the eyes and the nose. Maybe I can give like a white and black cat. Maybe I can put like some black over here. I mean, some cats are like that, right? Maybe I can have some black over here. 
and then the eyes. So this will be vinyl, the words will be vinyl. Uh, but the rest will be Tereso. So yeah, I got all... Let me put this aside. I got all six. So I'm gonna see which one I wanna start with and then... Let's get to it! So, I got my table prepared. Uh, I saw someone using bubble wrap for the terrazzo thingy. I got my mix. I got my liquid. And got my cups for mixing. Maybe just these three. Yeah, let's do it! Woohoo! Let's measure first. I need to measure the liquid first. I think... Let me see, where's my liquid? There you go. Um, switch on first. So I'm just going to do a little bit first and then see what happens. I have 20 grams of liquid. I need 50 grams of powder. So I'm going to put this one here first. Okay, 50 grams of powder done. This one and then pour inside and we'll mix. We have to do it quick because it dries up really fast. We need to also colour this. So I already think it's fully mixed. Seems like it. So I'm gonna pour this into two separate cups. One over here. One over here. Little bit here. Well, it is a nice color. It's drying up already. Ayoyoy. The rest, I'm going to put it here and then it's going to dry up and then I can take it from here as well. So this one is done. I don't know where to place this but this one, maybe green. Okay, so I have my three colours. I need to let them dry for a bit. Maybe while drying I can um, make more colours. I don't know if this is enough, but you know, we are experimenting, right? So we need to leave it dry. Maybe about 15 to 20 minutes. Usually it's 20 minutes. This is starting to dry. But the colours, I'm loving the colours. It's very pretty colours. So this will dry as well, so maybe I'll just wait out instead of rushing everything. So let's wait for a bit. Okay, they are all dry. In here. So let's try this. Woohoo! 
I got my green chips. Make sure I break it everywhere, like kind of clean this one out. This one. Okay, I shouldn't have done that. bad thing about using this like they still they stick a lot to the bubble wrap so I think silicone will be much better but it's okay we learn along the way right there you go whatever we can take out we take it out If not, it's okay. So next, we are going to do these two colors. Oh, this is a lot. Not much of the pink, huh? Yeah, so 38 liquid 95 powder. So this one needs to be 38. So I'm going to pour maybe about half here to colour it, maybe about there. So I want to have more blue than yellow for the base. So this will be my blue and this will be my yellow. My camera battery died and I ran out of memory space. My process of the marble cat mole wasn't recorded but it's okay so i'm gonna focus on this one now i'm uh, while waiting for it to dry instead of a perfect day i found something online this is so cute i like the word positive catitude so i'm gonna put that in my this one over here is gonna be so cute so I'm going to write that one down here and then I also want to draw this one. The eyes, the nose and the whiskers. That will be so interesting.